Hey y'all, it's Tammy. Happy fall. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, it is October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And if you didn't know it, I am a breast cancer survivor. I was a 3C stage because I had it in two areas in my right breast and in 12 lymph nodes when I was 40 years old. I am doing really well. I do have residual effects of chemo, but praise the Lord, I'm here. I've made a board over there in the kitchen. If you guys will comment and give me names of people in your family that have... I will write them on my board and keep them in my prayers. Okay, we've got a gala, uh, Jonathan, a Fuji, Pink Lady, Honey Crisp, Grady Smith, Golden Delicious, Red Delicious. So what we're going to do with these larger apples is we're going to half them and lay them down flat on this baking dish. And I am going to bake these apples just like they are. And I am not going to put sugar or butter or anything on them because I want to see what they taste like baked and what their texture is baked. So I'm just gonna half these and we're gonna get these in the oven and bake them. We're going to get these out of the oven. I did cook them 45 minutes. And I'm going to let them cool just a minute or two so that I don't get burned trying to taste them. But I'm going to let y'all come in and look at the juice that came off of it. Okay, we are doing apples because it's apple season. I got a gala. Uh, Jonathan, Fuji, Pink Lady, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, Honey Crisp, Red Delicious, and the apple that we could not figure out what it was, was the juiciest of all, okay? So you could tell what colors they are and, and how much juice was in them by looking at this parchment. Now... I'm going to flip them over so that you can see the colors of the apple. That one's just mush, complete mush. That's the Jonathan. You want them to hold their shape and not just be real mushy, pink lady. I'm afraid the honey crisp is going to be pretty mushy. Let me get something. Yeah, it is. So it cooks up quick. Red Delicious. This one that I will eventually identify. Golden Delicious. And Granny Smith. Now I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to smash the... the smash them so you can see what kind of textures they have. I just want you to step back a little bit because you're shaming them. Okay. So, um, I know for a fact that Jonathan is just complete mush. Okay. And I did cook these 45 minutes because they were in big hunks. Um, this is the Grady Smith and it's just complete mush. This is the Red Delicious. It's still got some texture to it. Honey Crisp, a little texture to it, but mushy. Pink Lady is still pretty stiff, but it's a nice consistency for apple pie. This one is a Fuji, and it's just like the Pink Lady as far as the texture. This is a Gala, which is typically my favorite one. Um, it's soft but stiff at the same time. 
This is the Golden Delicious. It's really smashy mushy. And this one is our the one we didn't identify. And I will go back to the grocery store and identify it before the uh, video is over. It did not have a tag on it. And it was in my bag of apples. And I really can't identify it. It looked like a Honeycrisp, but it did not taste like one. And it didn't cook up like one either. So we're going to taste these. They have absolutely no sugar on them. They have absolutely no um, butter on them. It's just the apple. And what you're looking for to bake with is an apple. If you're gonna if you're gonna cook it really fast, 15 to 20 minutes, then you can use one of these that are pure mush. But if you want to cook it, you know, and simmer it for a few minutes, then you need to, and especially if you're gonna make an apple pie, you need the apples to hold their shape a little bit. So um, you want it to be tart and sweet. If it's not, then you have to pair apples and put a tart one with a sweet one. So I'm going to taste them, and I'm going to tell you what my favorite one to bake would be uh, with. <clears throat> and it's according to what you're baking. This one is the Gala. It's very tart and, and, and sweet. It's very tart. Okay, the Jonathan. It's tart, but very boring. Not very tart, just very boring and very mushy. The Fuji. Sweet only and not very sweet. No tartness at all. Pink Lady. Delicious. Tart and sweet. This is the Granny Smith that everybody thinks they got to cook with. Complete mush. No sweet. All tart. Golden Delicious. Tart and sweet, but very mushy. So if you're gonna make an apple cake or something quick, you can use that one. Um, I'm gonna identify this one, I wanna taste it. Just a sweet apple, very boring. This is a Red Delicious. Sweet, very boring, not very sweet. Pink Lady. No, this is Honeycrisp. Tart, but very mildly sweet. They taste so different after you cook after you cook them. They're not the same. You can't just taste an apple and decide whether or not you can bake with it. You really need to bake them and see what they taste like. My number one baking apple for a pie would be the Pink Lady. Um, taste this one again. That's super sweet. You could pair this Fuji with a, with a, you couldn't pair it with this one to make it tart because the texture is completely different than this one. You gotta be careful doing that too. Because you don't want half the apples in your pie to be just like mush like this and half of them to have their shape. Couldn't you add sugar if one's tart? I mean, one, you, I mean, yeah, but most people try to pair them up. Mm. It's hard. No, I know that one's not good. It's just sour. That one's better than that one. For sure. It's between the Gala and the Pink Lady and the Golden Delicious. 
as far as getting an apple that's everything in one. So, if you're making an apple pie, I would pick Gala or Pink Lady. If you're making, you know, like my apple cake, and you're not going to be cooking your apples that long, you can use the Golden Delicious. Those three are the best. And the Honey Crisp, believe it or not, it's okay, but it's not as good as the other three. So, today, they had Gala. Buy one, get one free, the whole bag. I'm glad I bought two bags because I'm going to dry some. They're delicious. And I remember the last time I did my taste test, Gala was my top pick. Mmm, it's really good. That's all there is to it. You just gotta know how to pick out your apples, and then you're gonna have a really good dessert.